So for the fried dumpling, to have it with ackee and salt fish, I've got my dough ready here. So I've taken two cups of flour, three fourth teaspoon of baking powder. I've sieved both. I've put half a teaspoon of salt and I've made a dough with half and half milk. I've kept it for say 20 minutes. See how soft it's become. So it has to be soft dough and you also uh, mix it along with uh, a tablespoon of melted butter. Okay, so you just have to rest it for 20 minutes to a half an hour because you it becomes nice and soft. Okay, after resting it, it's going to be like this, soft. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're just going to nicely knead it after and you can just roll it this way. Okay. And then you just have to take a little portion of it, medium, okay, not too big. Just take small portions this way, pinch it off. You can make the size you want. They say one and a half to two ounces. And fry it. So how you're going to do is three. Okay, so I'll make around. Okay, so how you're going to roll this, you can either roll it on your both your palms and just leave it this way. Or else you can just take it, you can just tuck it in this way. Tuck it in, spread it, like you take it out from the middle this way and push it in. Take it this way and push it in from here you take it and push it in so you know what you're pushing it in and you're getting a nice dough like this right and just keep it here if your hands are getting sticky you just have to oil it with a little oil okay let's just put some oil on this so that it won't get dry okay or if you want a little sort of uh, a design to attract your visitors then you can just have it any way you want you know any designs okay so i would just do it this way and then just take it out from here and do it this way so it's as per your taste and how you want okay so you can make it any way you want usually dumplings they just make it into balls and serve it. So if you want round, you can just make it this way. Okay, and then just put it this way. And have it this way. Some design, or you just have to roll it against the countertop. Okay. And there you get a nice round ball dumpling. Okay. So let's make it into round the traditional way there you go or with your palm you can just make it round 
And there you go. There you go. There you go. Okay. Okay, so we can just actually just call it ten. Let's train it. Okay, stick it here, and then you just have to. Get it from here and get it this way. I'm going to put the pan on fire with oil in it while it's getting hot. We can just do this, okay? There's no need of making these uh, designs. It's it's up to you. Just for a little change, right? People all like to see the change. Like, it's something different. So we just have to have it taken from inside or outside and this way. Okay? Press it in the middle. Okay, so I've got around 13 dumplings. So it should be under low, medium fire. It should not be under high fire. Otherwise, it's going to just brown on the outside and it will be raw on the inside. So we don't want that to happen. We want it cooked inside and out. So let's go to the other side and see how we fry it. Okay, let's see how it... Okay, it's hot enough. Let's put it one by one. Okay, so let it get cooked in, in slow fire, slowly so that it gets cooked inside and out. Take in a small pan because it didn't make a lot and uh, so that the oil will be just sufficient for now. Just put the oil on the top so that it gets cooked. And turn it over all sides so that it gets cooked. So you see how it gets brown. So it should get, it should get some more color to it. Not yet cooked. So here, we just take it out. Plated ones. Yay. Okay, so let's go that. It's nice and brown, you see. Hot. So let it get cooked. Just toss it the other side after some time. The last one. There you go. So ooh. I did. Get cut and I'll be back. 